What's up everybody, this is Brad and we're dropping in today into the Wii U shop because there's not long left before they shut this thing down for good along with the 3DS shop and I thought I would go over some games that I think if you got some money left in your balance if you want to throw some into your Switch and then buy some games on this thing before they shut it down I'd like to go over some games that I think are personally worth playing on the Wii U. I don't know that I'll go through every one of them but Especially, like, these, uh, DS games. But anyway. Uh, like, the Mario Kart stuff, that, that's on the, the Switch now. Oh, $2 for Mario Party 2! If you don't own this, uh, pick that up. You got $2. What do we have here? I haven't played any of the Mario, uh, Wii Sports games, I don't think. Maybe the soccer one. Maybe Striker Shards. I think I have that one, I'm not sure. Uh... Super Mario 64 is kind of awkward, but it is an upgraded version of that game. The controls are kind of weird, though. Uh, Super Mario Advance 4, I mean, that's a new version of that. Mario Galaxy, yeah, this one, I would say, yes, uh, this is going to get me some hate here, but this is my least favorite of the big Mario games. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just didn't, couldn't get completely into it. I still really liked it. It's still a really good Mario game. It's just if I'm ranking the others, like if I'm ranking Mario 64, Sunshine, and Odyssey next to this one, I'm putting it at the bottom. Doesn't mean it's a bad game, though. Never played Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. I enjoyed uh, Mario Tennis Aces, but they were very, uh... That game was very lacking. And they recycled the dialogue uh, from uh, previous games. Uh, new Super Mario Brothers U. I mean, it's it's New Super Mario Brothers just on the U, and you get this one has the New Super Luigi game. I'm per, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Super Luigi uh, Super Luigi U. That one's got Nabbit in it. Mario Golf again. That's on the thing, but these are fun games too. Partners in Time. Never played that one. Paper Mario. It looks like all the 64 games are on discount. Well, a lot of them are. Let's go back up. Yeah, it looks like a lot of 64 games are on discount right now. So if you're not if you don't want to pay for a Nintendo Switch Online's expansion, now would be a pretty good time. I don't know when these sales end. Let me find the next one and I'll check it out. I haven't played any of the Mario uh, Donkey Kong games either. I played a little bit of Galaxy 2. I don't remember much of it. I'll have to play that again. Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Uh, I would say if you've got a Switch, to stick with Ultimate. But I mean, Smash for Wii U was fun. What else we got here? A lot of these, again, a lot of these older games are available on, uh, on the online service, Switch. Mario Kart 8, I mean, I've been playing 8 Deluxe, I enjoyed it a lot more than I remember playing a Mario Kart game before. Maybe it was the Wii U one. Uh, the NES Remix games, that one's the second one. I actually picked up the physical copy of this because it looked like a fun little challenge thing. Mario 3D World, have that one, beat that one. It's a pretty fun game. 20 bucks. It just sucks that there's not much uh, storage space on the Wii U. That you have to buy. You have to buy a, a hard drive or whatever. And in some cases, like, you have to be very specific which one you buy because uh, some of them just don't work well with the Wii U. Okay, so that was Mario. Let's go into Pokemon. Pokemon Snap, yep, there we go. Let's see what the, uh, how long does this sale last? Do we get a, uh, I don't think we get a... Doesn't appear to be a, uh, usually on these, uh, newer consoles, they tell you when, uh, when a sale is gonna end, but on this, they don't. Oh, well, Pokemon Snap's fun. Play new Pokemon Snap, if you would. That's a pretty much exactly what I was hoping that the new Pokemon Snap game would be. Uh, I haven't really played the Rangers games. Or Mystery Dungeon, I've heard they're pretty fun. I want to check out Pikachu's Adventure, but I don't think that I'm willing to really buy it. I bought Pokemon Tournament for the Switch, haven't played it yet. Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire is a fun game. Don't really know much about Rumble, that's all that's on here. There's really not a lot to buy here, which is why I want to try to blow through this pretty quick. Let me see, is there a discount? Is there a discount selection thing? 
I don't think so. Ah, oh well. Let's move on to Zelda. Now, this is where the real big uh, thing here is. Uh, if you don't have a Switch, I would still recommend, if, you, if you've got space on here, play Breath of the Wild. I mean, ideally I would argue that you want to try to save as much space as you can. So try to pick up the game physical if, if you still can. I don't know if any place really sells Wii U physical games anymore. But if you can find this cheap online, pick it up. It's a great game. Majora's Mask to play online. That one's not for sale. That's interesting. Uh, I haven't played some of these other ones. Spirit Tracks, never played it. Skyward Sword's a good game. I got the Switch version of that. I haven't started yet. I did buy, as you see, purchased here, uh, Twilight Princess HD. I waited and waited, hoping that they would port these to the Switch. Uh, Twilight Princess with Wind Waker, and they never did. So, it's $50 on here. I think that's worth a uh, HD version of that game. Hyrule Warriors, I bought that uh, years ago for the Wii U. I uh, had fun with that game, and I'm planning to play the Switch version at some point. Haven't played any of these. Wind Waker, like I told you, bought that with Twilight Princess. Uh, I'd say that Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, as far as games that uh, you can't get on the Switch, if you're gonna buy games from the Wii U, make it these two. And uh, it, it maybe Nintendo will still do a Zelda HD release for uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess for the Switch, but I, I didn't want to chance it any longer and wait. And at least this way I'll still have these games, even if they do do that. So I won't have to buy the, the probably more expensive re-release. Kirby, Kirby, I haven't really played many Kirby games, but I really did like Kirby uh, the Crystal Shards. I finished that on the channel not long ago. I kind of want to get into more Kirby stuff. The Switch game that came out recently looked pretty fun. Sonic! Yeah, old Sonic the Hedgehog! Okay, uh, we got... I haven't really played many Sonic games. There's only three! <laughs> Look at that. Only three. Wow. Why did they give Sonic his own section? There's only three games! That's weird. There's probably more LEGO games on here. Yep. Uh, some LEGO games. I, I don't really play LEGO games. No offense to LEGO games. Some indie games. What's worth playing here? Well, a lot of stuff. I went through at one point and just added stuff to like my 3DS favorites list. Just anything that looked like it might have stood out. Shantae. I've only played one Shantae game, and that was the Half Genie Hero. It was pretty fun. Uh, Freedom Planet. I see people talk about it all the time. There's, again, there's some more uh, Shantae games. Uh, what else is on here? Ooh, there's a lot of those. Uh. I don't know, kind of don't want to go through all of these, but I mean, if anybody's out here, uh, just catch me scrolling, I'll try to see if anything stands out real fast. Because I don't want this to be like a super long video, I've been trying to cut down on how long my uh, videos are, because I tend to start rambling. Anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll skip this for now. I'm, I'm going to try to hit the ones I know for sure you probably, uh, you should maybe take a uh, look at. Well, that might be about it. Let's go through the best sellers. What are the most popular ones? All right, this is probably going to be the end of this video because best sellers probably are your good thing. And, and no surprise, Zelda games right off the bat. Minish Cap, Spirit Tracks, I haven't played these. I beat the original Wind Waker. Never played the HD version, but I know it's just the same game. But again, Wind Waker, great, ga uh, great game. Haven't played Phantom Hourglass. Uh, Twilight Princess, again... Great Zelda game. I do think I'm probably going to buy this, though. The Metroid uh, Prime Trilogy. I've wanted to try Metroid out. I played uh, a little bit of Metroid Prime, uh, or Metroid Other M. I understand that that's a pretty bad game. And I played some of the Metroid, like, NES games. Or NES game, the first Metroid, and maybe the second Super Metroid a little bit. But I've heard Metroid Prime, that trilogy series, is really good. And so, I think I might end up buying this one. So, a uh, dollar fifty for Super Mario RPG. I don't think that that's available on the Nintendo. Uh, is this available on the Nintendo uh, online shop? I mean, not online shop, but the uh, uh, online service, Nintendo Switch Online. I'm not sure if it's actually on there or not. I don't think it is. 
I think it's on the, uh, the Super NES Mini, though. If you bought that, I have that. But yeah, I don't think that that's on there. It might be, though. I'm, maybe I'm just... Maybe for some reason I just couldn't remember. DuckTales Remastered. <laughs> I have that Disney Afternoon set on my Xbox. I should open that up. I should fire that thing up and start playing those old Disney games. Ocarina of Time. If you don't want, again, if you don't want to pay that, like pretty much any Zelda game, you're good to go. Any Zelda game, most of the Mario games, at least the the core Mario games, as I would call them. Uh, Donkey Kong 64. It might be worth it. Uh, that's not on the Nintendo Switch Online uh, 64 service yet. But it, I know it was developed by Rare, but they've got. Uh, Banjo Kazooie and Goldeneye on uh, NSO now, so I figured Donkey Kong's coming at some point. What else we got? I I I, I want to play Mario Galaxy 2. I gotta find the disc for that. It's somewhere. Don't know. It's about Resident Evil 4. I don't know about that one. New Super Mario Brothers. Like yeah, yeah. It's it's New Super Mario Brothers. It's fine, but I don't know if it's worth ten dollars. Uh. Mario Kart 64, my favorite Mario Kart. Um, and Wario Land 4, there you go. There is a classic game. Oh, I, I love playing Wario Land 4, man. That was a fun game. Mario 64, you can never go wrong with that, but it's on the Switch now. So if you got a Switch, you can just pick it up there, play it online, or you can go, go uh, find one of those very rare Mario 3D All-Star collections. They're everywhere. Uh, Wii version of Pikmin, that might actually be worth it. Pikmin 4 coming out not too long from now, I guess. I don't know what time it is. Duck Hunt, you can't play that on the Switch thing, so that might be worth spending $5 on. I did. Animal Crossing Wild World, man. Mario 3, the best game of all time, a dollar. One of my favorite games ever. One dollar. I probably, I probably have had six different consoles or seven that you can play some version of that game on it. Amazing game. Zelda. I mean, a lot of, a lot of these, like, older games are very easy to <coughs> emulate, too, so. <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Kirby again. Yoshi's Story. That's a pretty good game. Uh, one more, and then we'll, we'll get out of here just to see what's left on this one. Kirby, Donkey Kong Country 3. I've actually never played that one. I've beaten the first Donkey Kong Country and the second one. Never, uh, never, never even touched the third one. I should correct that. I played the first one for the channel. I'll have to play the second one. Punch Out, I've never played that either. I kind of would like to play that one. F-Zero X, that's a pretty fun game. Dead series, but fun game. <laughs> Mario 2. Wario Land Shake It, I kind of actually do want to play this one at some point. And Sin and Punishment, don't really... Uh, that's, uh... That's on NSO2. And Mario Galaxy, you can get that on Switch 2. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that's... That's about it. There's not really much to this shop, to be honest. There's a lot of indie stuff, but... It's largely kind of unknown things, and I mean, not to be mean. But, uh... You know, eShop exclusives. We may check that one out because it is. So like I said, Galaxy Buster. What, what, is, what is this? Some of this stuff. Brick Race. I mean... I don't, what is Roram? It's like a puzzle platformer game? No, a puzzle maze? Okay. Yeah, maybe a little Zelda-ish looking like... So there's probably a few uh, things, like, okay, there's a Fatal Frame game. There's probably a few little gems in here. There's only two pages worth. Again, this is a very, very empty store. Which, like, you know, compared to the Switch store, which is, a, is huge, there's just not a whole lot here. Like I said, the, the, the Sonic game section. Let's look at, let's look at it one more time. Look at it. Three. There are three total Sonic games on this, uh, thing. Like, wild. But anyway. Uh, that's all I got for you. I mean, I might pop up the games on sale, but it doesn't show a date. There's no date here. 
And look, it doesn't even show the, uh, the 64 games. Huh, that's weird. Anyway, yeah, that's all I got for you. Just wanted to go through the Wii U shop, talk a little bit about the games that are still available here. That there are some things worth buying that you can't get on the Switch. And if you've got some extra cash, I know you can't directly add funds to the Wii U anymore. You gotta do it through the Switch. So, you kind of have to have a Switch to, uh... You kind of have to have a Switch in order to even buy stuff on a Wii U anymore. And at that point, if you already have a Switch, then like a lot of these 64 games are... If you're paying for the Nintendo Switch Online, you've got those to play already anyway. So why would you buy them for your Wii U unless you're planning to phase out your, NS, uh, your NSO uh, payments later? But, anyway... So right off, in my opinion, if you're gonna buy anything on this, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker. But ultimately, any Zelda game will do. Most of the Mario games are fine. I think, like, Pokemon, uh, Poke Park would, uh, Pikachu's Poke Park or whatever that game is called. Uh, that seems like an interesting game. It's not a traditional Pokemon game, but it could be fun. But anyway, that's all I got for you. I'm gonna get out of here. Like and subscribe. Let me know what games that you want to buy or we're thinking about uh, we're thinking about buying on the Wii U maybe let me know what games you hope that aren't on the switch yet get ported to the Wii U also just wanted to jump in real fast before I end it because I forgot to mention this and it's something I have a big criticism of the Nintendo eShop on the switch why do we not have this cool music on the switch shop like that was one of the things that I thought Nintendo always did really well was that their shops kind of felt fun and, uh, you know, had a little bit of personality to them, unlike, like, the Xbox shop, uh, Steam. Like, at least this shop gives us a little musical track to play while we're, uh, browsing. It's, it's a little thing, but it sets it apart, and I think that's missing from the Switch. Anyway, now I'm out for real. Enjoy this music. It's really good. I'm sad that we don't get that on the Switch. <laughs>